Uh, it's now my distinct pleasure to introduce uh, a very important and entertaining fella. Uh, he is the head of production at Turner Studios and the new chair of the Georgia Production Partnership. He's ushering in a great new era of professionalism and it's the great convergence of the emergence of this industry with uh, great talent and vision like him helping lead the Georgia Production Partnership to a whole new era. Please put a big round of, a, of applause together for Mr. Steve Mitch. It's my pleasure to introduce a dear friend and colleague, Rob Hardy. I've had the honor of knowing this man for over 10 years. And I, I thought about what I was going to say. And I thought for a minute, let me run through a few of his professional credentials because they stand alone, but it's worth noting. Um, in the last 10 years, Rob has directed over 10 major projects. That includes ER, Past Lives, yeah. Heroes, but the things that, that, that are significant is what you may not know about Rob is, it, is not only being a director, he's produced eight features and television episodics. He's written and seen produced five screenplays. And that's in ten years. That's quite a resume. The other thing that you probably don't know about Mr. Hardy is that he didn't come from Hollywood royalty. He went to FAMU and got a degree in mechanical engineering. Long way from the film business. But when he was in school, he made a film called Chocolate City and found his passion for filmmaking and decided to pass on the job offers and pursue his passion. And he brought that passion to Georgia. He's been loyal to Georgia. He's been dedicated to Georgia. And there's just a couple, a couple quick stories, personal stories, that I'd like to share to give you a feel about the man. The first one was um, on a film that I worked with him called Motives back in 2004. And as some of my friends know, a year ago, my twins were born. And at four weeks, you're scrambling, you're looking for clothes to put on. I run in the closet, I grab a pair of sweatpants, and I look over, and what do I see is the Motives t-shirt. And I put that on because there's such a good vibe from having worked with Rob. And I lay there. There we are. And that's the point of the picture. Because when, when, you, when you work with a, a man like Rob, it, it's hard to describe the pleasure and, and, and just the connection that you have. And so when I look in the closet and there's a thousand movie t-shirts I've got in there, that was the one I grabbed that day to, to put my son to sun on. So The other story I want to share is back in, 2000 and, in, two, in uh, 2007 on Three Can Play That Game. Rob was producing that movie. We were there um, on the set. Rob was in a hurry to leave. And those of you in the business know, well, if you're on set, you're generally not in a hurry to leave, especially if you're the producer, because that's you're the guy with the money. So Rob is r hustling off, and I said, Rob, everything okay? And he says, yeah, everything's great. He goes, there's no worries. But today is my son's first haircut, and I'm not going to miss that. And so he left the set to be with his family. And I think that's quite a tribute to where his priorities are. A great husband, a great father, and a great friend. With that, I'd like to introduce Mr. Rob Hardy. And yes, I have one for you. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How you guys doing? All right, all right, all right. Well, I don't know what I've done to deserve such a, a great introduction. But uh, my name is Rob Hardy, and I bring you uh, greetings from uh, the Rainforest Film family. My partner, William Packer, Diane Ashford, Lorna Wilson, Mina Payne, and uh, Shayla Cowan. Um, wow, it's, uh, it's wonderful to be here. Uh, we have been here for 14 years in this community. I know a lot of you, and some of you that I don't know I'd love to get to know. We've done uh, 14 feature films within those 14 years nine of which we've done in the state of Georgia, uh, which we call our home. Uh, we were the first film to be able to take advantage of the first tax incentive that was passed in 2005 with our motion picture, The Gospel. 
And we've worked in close proximity with a lot of you all, and I see uh, my good friend uh, Shay Griffin there right there, who has really been instrumental in allowing us to participate in this movement. And um, it's really been exciting for us as filmmakers because um, we live here and we work here and we also work in, in Los Angeles a lot. And we've been able to see the shift of excitement as people want to come to Georgia to do production. When people hear about the tax incentive and what's happening and then they come down here and they see crews and they see locations and they see the people and they see the fact that people down here are excited about television and movies and commercials and that's what it's all about and everybody wants to be a part of that and plus when you come to a place like Atlanta it's kind of a cool town. You know, it's history, it's clubs, it's architecture, it's fun, it's concerts, and that's kind of what made us stay here. So after all these years, um, it's nothing like coming back home. No matter where you go, LA, San Francisco, Chicago, New York, there's nothing like Atlanta GA. Matter of fact, last uh, fall, we got a chance to do the sequel to what is, has become our highest grossing movie. In 2006, we did a movie called Stomp the Yard. We shot it right at Morris Brown College uh, in the AUC in the West End. And it was great for us because we went to Florida A&M, which is a historically black college, so to be able to go and to give business to another historically black college in our hometown uh, was, an, was a special treat for us. So we were able to go back to that same place and shoot Stomp the Yard 2, and we have a clip that we want to show you guys. Right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Right here in Atlanta, Georgia, there's no place like it. There's no place like it. Every time I do a TV show, everybody's asking about what's happening in Atlanta, Georgia. I just finished doing this TV show called Bones. And I was there and they were like, well, now what's happening in Atlanta, Georgia? Tell us about this Atlanta thing. And so, you know, you guys in this room have helped to make this possible. There's one person in particular that has also been a real champion of our cause that's been able to see this vision and help make this a possibility for all of us to do films like this and others that are here. And that's uh, Senator Mitchell W. Seabaugh. And let me tell you about him. He was first elected to the Georgia State Senate in 2000. In only his second term of office, he has become the majority whip. He was the instrumental person in backing and sponsoring uh, Bill 1100. And that's the bill that allowed Georgians to uh, receive tax incentives up to 30% for filming in the state of Georgia. This is huge because it brings people to our great state. It brings projects here, whether it's Vampire Diaries or Drop Dead Diva or movies here, whether it's Stomp the Yard 2 or uh, The Blind Side or Why Did I Get Married To? All those things are made possible by this incentives, which allows our community to grow, which allows our businesses to get uh, serviced, which allow our industry to be able to grow, and for the state to reap all the benefits as we show people why we are a special place. So I'm here to introduce to you all Senator Mitchell Seymour.